have subtitles. It will be easier. Thank you, we. It will be easier to go through the movie with the subtitles. Yes, yes. Because <laughs> it's too fast sometimes. Yes, yes really fast. Um, in the last scene that we just saw yesterday, two things I wanted to go over. I don't think they were in our vocabulary words. One was candid. The word candid. It means to be very honest. If you're candid, there's no holds barred. You just speak the truth. She, Catherine, does that because of lack of experience. Yes. So yes. she she tells him everything. But at dinner, when they have dinner, the father said, "You are very candid," meaning you are telling you're telling us everything that you don't have a profession. And she pipes in. Catherine says. Oh, yes, he is very candid, because he had just told her he loved her. So that was very candid in a way that she was a little embarrassed, but she looked at him very candid. The other thing is Dr. Sloper, at that dinner, the first dinner, he says to Morris, <laughs> go west. <laughs> Go west, young man. That's what the famous newspaper uh, editor, Horace Greeley, used to tell young men in New York. Go west, young man. That's where the work was. That's where the gold rush was. That's where um, uh, the, the people who wanted to uh, stake out their plantations or their farms, they would go and they'd get free land. But you had to work like heck because it was hard, hard work. Gold mining was hard work. Anything to do with the gold rush was difficult. So why do you think Dr. Swope, he wasn't concerned about his, his future son-in-law. He wanted him to get out of the way, get out of New York. Go west. That's where they get out. That's where, that's where all the yeah. is from. Catherine won't, won't think of it if you just <laughs> go and say it. Say it like it. Say it like it. Say it like it. Say it It was at the time because it was go when it is. Go west, young man. Definitely get out of town. Go west. That's where the action is. That's where, where the money is. So, um, so we saw, we saw the very beginning, we saw the second uh, scene in which he has dinner with them. He sings that pretty little song that we liked. Um, and now Catherine is going to wait up for her father because she wants to tell her father before Morris has an appointment to um, see his, his, her father tomorrow morning at 11 o'clock. Big mistake on her part, I think, because the father has all the power. The father knows what he's doing. The father does not want Catherine anywhere near his daughter, so uh, near Morris. So she's going to plead for Morris. And, hi, Robert. and the father says to her, you've got it all wrong. You've got it all backwards. He's supposed to plead for you. He's supposed to say, I'm not good enough for you. You're not supposed to say, oh, I, was, I can't wait for him to marry me. It's reverse. It should be the other way. In Thai culture, does the man who's wooing the lady, does he meet with the father of the bride? Does he ask for her hand? Yeah, that's usually the way it's done. You have the, the whoever 
is going to marry would go to the father. It's never the mother, it's always the father just to ask permission if it would be all right to marry him. I remember my own husband when he was young. He was terrified to go to my father. <laughs> he was afraid. My father was very large and imposing. And he was caustic. My father was clever and funny. And my husband admired my father. And it's like Morris. He, he wanted to make a good impression. And my husband was an actor. My, my, my father, as a young man, wanted to be an actor, oh, a Shakespearean oh. actor, like my husband was. But his mother, and he was invited in Cincinnati to join a company, a traveling company of Shakespearean actors. And my father was 19, 18, 19 at the time, and he was so excited. He ran home to his mother and his father, and he said, I've been invited to join the, the company, uh, the Shakespearean company, and I'm leaving town. And his mother said, oh, no, William. <laughs> we always thought you'd be a lawyer. So that was, that was it for him. But so his youngest daughter marrying an actor, my father was not too happy. But my husband knew he had to go to the father. He had to go to the father. So this is what, what Morris has got to do in the next scene. But she, she, again, she does, she's not clever. She's not experienced. She's not sophisticated. She doesn't know the ways of the world. And because she is so naive, we call that, she hurts her own self. She does not uh, do the best for her. And Morris is, 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 is not well represented because his father, her father, doesn't like it. That's all there is to it. It's not going to work out the way she wants. She thinks her father loves her. Yes. That's the other heartbreaking part of this story. The father doesn't like her. The father doesn't think she's pretty or clever or anything that a young daughter would be. I don't know I'm taking care of her. No, he's not watching the best interests of her. Yes. So we have, we will go, I will try to find out exactly where we were on this thing. Because we don't want to see any more stuff, do we? You tell me. Your mother's hair. See, this is in the beginning. Shh. This is a dinner. Yes. This is. Close the quiz. Huh? You can do close the quiz. He kissed you. She is one of her friends. She's a shackled. He uses a word when he says, Your aunt's not here, I should leave. Oh, sorry. Maybe I can't use your port in the drawing.
must believe how much I care for you. You're everything I've ever yearned for in a woman. Mm -hmm. There I am. I am so...
sure you must know that. Yes, he told me that himself. That is another thing about him, is he's honest. Is he? Is he then honest in his feeling for my daughter? <laughs> I don't know that, Doctor. I never could say what goes on in people's hearts. <laughs> could you? Well, I have to try now. He told me that he used up a small inheritance. Did he handle it well? Probably you would not think so, Doctor. But from his own point of view, he did a great deal of it. He saw your opinion and many interesting people. He enlarged his capacities. Did he help you now? <laughs> no. Sure, dear. Oh, I don't think so. You're a widow and you have children. I think so. Oh, but if I needed it, I know he would have helped me. Are you sure? You want me to complain about him, sir. But I have no complaint. I brought him up as if he were my child. And I have accepted the good and bad in him just as I accept them in my children. I'll make you angry now. I apologize. I think, Doctor, you expect too much of people. If you do, you'll always be disappointed. <laughs> I want you to meet my daughter. Will you excuse me? Certainly. Oh, is Mrs. Montgomery there? 
his words. Why? A man's unfortunate. All he's interested in is none of money. Are you ready to have that to Kathy? No. What? Kathy? Mrs. Mongolia has left. Oh, I took too long. I wanted to make the trade especially nice. It was not your fault, my dear. We have concluded our talk. I don't know a penny in the world. I'm not going to ask. What are you doing? 
really long now. The remnants of my property.
give it to you, oh Lord, with all my love. Would you be so kind as to get me some hot 
Harris page, I will come to the corner of the square tomorrow night, 9 o'clock. We'll drive to the parsonage. And after the marriage, we'll spend the night and then up the river. Next day, we'll go to Albany on a high Oh, my. My husband. <laughs> they like my plan. She was such a beautiful silk dress coat. She was wearing it for our wedding. Yeah, I bought you a set of buttons for the rest of Paris. What? Yeah, we'll use them for us. They are quite nice. Oh, my dear, dear girl, how happy we should be.
find to be so dull. It surprised me to have such a dull girl disgrace his name. Catherine, are you quite yourself? It was just a shadow of me. Thank God it I may never stand in this window again. I may never see Washington Square on a windy April night. Why won't you? Because I will never be in this house again. Nonsense. You and Austin will be reconciled within the year. I will never see him again in my life. Mm. What? I'm leaving tonight instead of tomorrow because it is one time less I will ever have to realize on him mm. or he on me. We dislike each other too much, Aunt. But good heavens, child. You're disinheriting yourself. Yes. Completely. Have you told Morris this? Of course I told him everything. He used to be my husband. Oh, you should have waited. Did he? Did he understand? There he is. Goodbye, Alice. I'm going to watch you all.
We can watch it go up to the bedroom. Okay. Okay. Distraught 
going up to her room, wanting just to, to, to finish the whole thing. What do you think is going to happen?